Welcome, gang, to what is our final week, part one. So, I say part one because I intend this, or had intended this to be our final week. Usually in a, in a quarter, you get eight to nine weeks. And again, because of our early January 8th start, it's left us with a couple of weeks that we might as well call extra time. So what I usually reserve as the final week is going to be split up into two parts. So you'll see on this week's announcement, final week Roman numeral one, and then next week will be final week Roman numeral two. And at the conclusion of next week, i.e. final week Roman numeral two, that will be the real conclusion of 1101. And it's at that time we will move on to 1102. Uh, Blackboard has that scheduled to be uh, active as of the 17th, which is a Tuesday. Um, I don't know why, maybe, maybe to kind of uh, correspond with the January 8th beginning. Uh, I'm going to see if our coordinator can make that active as of the day before, the 16th, the Monday, sensibly, you know, because we begin on a Monday with, with each week. Uh, so that is... Uh, it's it's a minor minor thing there, but we we have a plan for the next couple weeks of this half of the course, and the, here's how it will proceed. So, you just turned in your as of you all viewing this video, your uh, persuasive argumentative research enhanced versions, where you took your topic from your no research version, and you incorporated research into it, following MLA guidelines uh, as. Uh, as shown in our SCC book and our uh, writing uh, center, our OWL handbook, uh, called the Handbook in Blackboard. Um, so I look forward to reading those, and they will take a two-week turnaround time. The persuasive argumentatives are back, returned, graded to you. Um, probably the weakest uh, of the bunch so far. Uh, no, not a probably. Uh, let's scratch that out. Definitely. Uh, the weakest out of the bunch so far. That's not to say everyone's uh, falls into that category. But just, you know, at, having read three essays so far, or up to that point, two essays even uh, so far, uh, I know each of your writing styles. Okay, even though I don't know you all face-to-face, -face, I see a name, I see the content, I know what a John Q. Smith essay looks like in this class, or a... Uh, uh, Mary Q. Uh, Johnson essay looks in this class, okay? So, um, I'm familiar with how you all individually uh, write essays. And there was just a lot of carelessness uh, with the third essays. Um, most of you have been pretty good uh, crossing your T's, dotting your I's, minding your P's and Q's, etc. with the basics of grammar and punctuation. Um, this one, though, there was, there was a lot of slipshod work, a lot of slapdash work. It's as though many of these essays were written in haste, uh, without proofreading or revision or editing. Uh, just, just what I've noticed, okay? So the grades, um, the highest grades, you know, usually on the previous two essays, it wasn't uncommon for high A's to be in the, well, the high A range, or, or I should say the highest grades to be in the high A range high A range. However, this time around, the highest grades are probably trending more in the low to mid A range, and it's not uncommon to see more Bs and Cs, okay? Um, so this is all to say, uh, before you submit that final, uh, or, or you already have, um, going forward uh, in 1102, uh, please be, uh, let's bring it back uh, to careful, disciplined uh, writing, please, okay? Just makes it easier for all of us, and you'll be doing a better job, okay? Uh, do use the resources here available to you, i.e. Mr. Churchwell, who's there with you all, and email me. Uh, that is up to you all. It is your responsibility to do these things, by the way. Um, this is a high school class, okay? I am a college instructor, you all are partnering through the college, okay? I personally do not treat you all as grammar school, elementary school students, okay? So, um, accountability, being intrinsically motivated, um, being responsible, being an adult, 
all those things. That is on uh, you, okay? So, little come to Jesus moment there. A uh, little finger wag, but, you know, nothing nothing too serious. Um, but uh, it, it, it is a good time to call to mind uh, how we need to conduct ourselves the last few weeks here. And what is that going to uh, involve? Well, we have one more journal, okay? So if you've noticed, we've had a journal after the end of each mode of discourse. So we did our narrative, we had a journal after. We did our descriptive, we had a journal after. Persuasive argumentative essay, we had a journal after. Now we're having a journal pertaining to MLA research, okay? So for this journal, I'd like you all to reflect on the uh, method, the mode that is MLA citation, the Modern Language Association's uh, particular rules and guidelines having to do with how you incorporate uh, research material into your essay, okay? Um, a lot of students, myself included, uh, some 15 plus, well, not quite that long ago, uh, let's say 10 plus years ago, um, was uh, in your very shoes, okay? And whenever research paper time came or MLA talk came, I kind of rolled my eyes and shuddered and groaned. Um, however, standards are there for a reason. The rules are there for a reason, okay? So I'd like you all to kind of chew on that idea. Why are these MLA rules there? How are they helpful? You might think that they are... Uh, anal and uh, overly concerned with minute considerations or something like that. But there's a reason why we English uh, teachers uh, have you all do MLA uh, citation. It's the most common type. There's other types. There's APA, American Psychological Association. There's CMOS, Chicago Manual of Style. MLA, for what it's worth to you all, in my humble opinion, is the most user-friendly for students, okay, and the most sensible, uh, hassle-free, if you could possibly uh, attribute the phrase hassle-free to MLA, uh, version that we have, okay? So that is the journal assignment this week. So that's going to be a homework assignment. I have to grade this week your last journal. That's what's next on uh, the docket for me for your persuasive argumentative uh, no research uh, essay. So that's what I'll be doing this week. And then next week, uh, we're not going to have time. Remember I had said, I think with the last week, last two weeks videos, that we might have time for an essay revision. We're not going to have time for that, okay? Uh, because I have that two-week turnaround. And after that two-week turnaround for this final essay, we will move on to 1102. So while I had said it was possible, I never guaranteed it, okay? While it was possible, we could do a, um, a revision for uh, some extra... Uh, or half credit back on your final essay. We won't have the time to do that. But don't worry, when I grade your MLA research essays, I am looking at the blogs. Remember, the blog participation uh, was opportunities for you, about two, three points roughly for each uh, for each blog added on to your MLA research essay. So there's your bonus on that, okay? But there are other ways to pull up your grade if you're concerned, all right? The final journal assignment for this week on MLA citation. And then next week, I'm probably going to post a, uh, a comprehensive discussion board, discussion forum on 1101. It's going to ask you all to kind of reflect on your 1101 journey uh, and kind of calling on you all to look inward and ask yourselves, okay, how has my trajectory been in this course? What have I learned? What, what, what do I have yet to learn? Et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that'll be rolled out next week. One other thing you still have to do if you haven't yet, and this has been there from day one, is what is called the SLO, Student Learning Outcome. Okay, it is a mandatory class homework assignment, and it is available in the lessons page. I have pulled up right now. If you go look there, it says E-N-G-L-S-L-O. There is an attachment there. Read the attachment, follow the instructions, and complete the assignment. This is going to be due by the 15th. Okay, that is a Sunday. That is when our 1101 half finishes, the 15th. Okay, that is going to be, uh, that's two weeks from today. Or, well, me recording this today, Sunday the 1st. Okay, uh, so keep that in mind. So let's package everything into a, a nice little uh, little gem here. Um, 
What do you have to do for this week? The journal, the final journal. That's it. Okay. Uh, we'll be on the lookout for grades returning back to you uh, from the previous journal. And next week will be my essay grading week. Okay. That'll be your MLA research essays coming in. All right. Uh, and then things to keep in mind, I will post another assignment at the beginning of next week, that comprehensive uh, discussion forum asking you all to kind of uh, think back on your 1101 journey. That'll be a class homework assignment. And then uh, finally, uh, the SLO, which is also a class homework assignment. Okay. Uh, and the rollout of 1102, where we move on to literature, going to be reading a lot of stories, poems, uh, and finally a play. Okay. Uh, we will get into that, and that'll be the second half of the semester. Okay. Uh, and we go all the way until the beginning of May, okay, for that uh, second half of the course. All right. So uh, I think that is going to wrap us up for this week. I uh, hope you all are doing well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, do email me. Uh, I do my best to return emails in a timely manner because I want I want all outstanding business to be taken care of, okay? When you send me an email, I want to resolve your problem as quickly as I can. Get it turned around to you so you're not in the lurch there. Uh, so hopefully we are all, uh, we all know where we stand in this class. Uh, we know where we are. You have a grade book. Please review it, okay? There shouldn't be any surprises. There should not be any gasps or exclamations or... Uh, Anything like that, you guys have been able to track your progress all throughout the term, okay? But do come to me if you have any questions or concerns with anything, and I'll be happy to help you out. All right, well, that's going to conclude our video for this ninth week, what we are calling our final week number one, followed by final week number two next week, which will be indeed the final week of 1101. All right, everybody, have a great week. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.